user options. In order to allow the user to customize the behavior of the extension, you need to give them options. Providing options in any extension is not mandatory. But of course, it's better to provide them options so that they can customize the behavior of the extension. In order to provide users with options, you need to follow three steps. The first one is to create a file called options.html and then you need to add code to it. You need to register this file inside the manifest file by using the options page key and the value will be the, the file which is the options.html and of course the last step is adding logic by creating options.js which is a javascript file that will manage stuff behind the scenes. Let's now create user options. So the first step inside our project, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name it options.html. The second step is that we need to add some code to it. I'm just going to add h1 tag options page and finally we need to register this page in the manifest file here I'm gonna add options page and the file is the options.html and then comma and the fourth step which is just creating the options dot options dot js file which is the javascript file associated with the options dot html save now let's get back to our browser and see how we can access the options page so basically there are two ways to access the options page the first one is by clicking on the icon right clicking on the icon and then click on options now as you can see we have the options page which is the options.html file this is the first way the second way is by clicking on details from the extensions management page click on the details of that extension and then scroll down and find the extension options link and click on it and uh, there you go we also accessed the option or options page which is the options.html file 